Hey YouTube, Sign here. I know it's been a little while since I posted a video. I kind of ended up skipping version 1.5 and 1.6 in terms of posting videos because I wasn't really feeling it. But I'm back with 2.0 and we're here to talk about Black Swan Best Light Cones. Now, I don't normally do face cam, but I decided to do face cam for this video. I may do more face cam going forward, but uh, we'll, we'll figure that out. But with today's video, I wanted to give a little bit of context to the video because it's going to be a lot to explain and there are going to be two screens and I want to explain both sides. The reason for both screens, this ability. Candle flamed portent is a very strong ability, but the issue with it is that it gives Black Swan a damage bonus equal to her 60% of her effect hit rate capping out at 72%, meaning that if you do quick math, that means at 120%, you get the full bonus. The issue here is that not each light cone has the same abilities. Some light cones can boost your effect hit rate, meaning that you require less in your base build. Because of that, I ended up doing two base builds for the video. One base build is going to be 80%, which will be on the left side, and on the right side is going to be 120. The reason for the 80 is because her signature light cone, Sampo, and before tutorial, they all give you a 40% boost. Therefore, I wanted to keep that there so you can see that maximum potential from those three, which are the best light cones. And then on the right side, you're going to see the other light cones, which are more damage heavy, like Good Well, Sleep, Good Night, Sleep Well, and then like Kafka's light cone and stuff. So you keep that in mind with that video, um, with this video, and let's get started. Now, one thing you may notice at the start of each fight, I will be starting off with her ultimate as it applies to the Epiphany debuff that will upgrade Arcana to now count as Wind Sheared, Bleed, Burn, and Shock, which helps build up Arcana stacks much quicker. Not only that, it does increase the damage that uh, the enemy will take at the start of their turn by 15%. So because of that, I thought it would be better to start off with that so we can get more stacks quickly. You also may notice I'm doing skill into basic attack. The reason for this is I find it to be more practical for majority of the comps, unless you're running a solo black swan main DPS with a bunch of support, then it's a little bit different. But if you're running her with like Kafka or Branya, you're more than likely gonna have to be doing skill into basic attack to keep your skill points at a decent level. One cool thing about Black Swan is that she's one character where good night sleep well, all three debuffs can be procced by her alone. She doesn't need additional Nihility characters to apply debuffs to get the maximum benefit, which is very cool. Luka's Light Cone is an okay support Light Cone if you want to run her as defense down like for like a showcase but reality wise i wouldn't recommend it you're better off using another light cone in the support role um the defense down is nice but keep in mind it doesn't really proc because it's a one turn defense down so if you want to get like the damage boost on your, your damage over time it's not going to really work that way because it starts at the startup turn rather than the end now uh, Tutorial Start is my favorite support light cone. The reason being that it allows her to get a three turn ultimate rotation where she doesn't have to worry about doing skill each turn to get her ultimate. Rather, she can do skill, basic, and skill to still get her ultimate at a decent time. It does require you getting hit at least one time though. Which is practical within three turns. Sample's light cone is probably the most practical for free to play players in terms of damage. It's the easiest to obtain and it provides you with the effect hit rate boost and you get a good damage over time boost as well. Now this is a new light cone, uh, new light cone with Tenokoni, it's Showtime. This light cone, it pretty decent i would say uh it gives a each time you cast a what's that a debuff you get a trick on the enemy stacking up to three times and you get that for one turn also if your effect hit rate is above 80 percent or higher you do get a 20 percent attack boost that's why the damage run is so high but it doesn't give effect hit rate so keep that in mind 
Curtis Shop like Cone has always been a weird one for me. Um, it's okay in the support role as a sub DPS as you get the energy, which it does help with your rotation when using basic attacks. The issue is that you need to get the kill with the light cone, and if you're running her as a sub DPS, it's not likely you'll get the kill, so it does make it a little bit counterproductive for support. And if you're running a main DPS, you're better off running something like Sampo, Light Cone, or even Good Night Sleep Well. So it's really only an alternative if you don't have those Light Cones. Welts Light Cone is pretty mediocre, honestly speaking. The only thing that's notable about it is that it's very good if you keep spamming the skill, as the skill will get the increased hit rate from Welts Light Cone. Other than that, it's not that good. In Setson's brain, it's the Wolf Light Cone, and it does provide a decent support, but the same issue with Target Aether applies to um, Lucas Light Cone, where it's not going to really proc on your damage over time debuff, so it's kind of not that great. Not to mention that the effect hit rate boost is only, I believe, 22%. Now, Kafka's Light Cone is very unique. The Erode debuff will count as an extra stack um, actually two stacks, excuse me, to your Arcana, which makes it very powerful. As you can get, instead of most setups getting 13, you will see here that it does get up to 15 stacks, which is very good. The damage is still mediocre compared to like Sample's Light Cone, but it's not bad at all if you do have it as you get the speed bonus. Now, one thing I don't think I mentioned throughout this video is that on the 80% side, you may notice that the Arcana debuff is not a consistent amount. It won't be 13 every time. And the reason for this is that we're fighting a boss with 40% effect resist rate. Meaning that in order to guarantee a 65% base hit, you need roughly 120 effect hit rate to land it all the time. That's why with samples like Cone, Black Swan, and before tutorial, you can get that no problem because they get the bonus from their light cone effects. While the other light cones, they kind of struggle because they're not going to consistently hit that 120 and they're going to be roughly in an 80% range, leaving that up to RNG. I did refresh a couple of times to make them at least close, but you just got to keep that in mind that the lower your effect hit rate means the less chance you're going to hit against the harder bosses in the fight. Now on this part right here, you probably see my bad template. If any of you watching this video can make a better template, I'm willing to commission it. I'm looking for like a template for other characters because I want to do like the characters I miss, like Argenti, Dark Doratio, um, update some of the older characters like Kafka, Jing Yuan, because there's so many light cones coming out since I posted those videos. Some of them are like seven months old and whatnot. So I thought it'd be a good time to go back and, you know, get them up and change some stuff around and incorporate more, I guess, Face cam in the videos. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. I will be trying to respond to as much as I can. I know that this video was a little bit not as clean as I would like it to be because this character is very complex and I don't want this video to be 20 minutes or anything like that, right? Because it's the light cones alone, it's a lot because of how her kit works, right? I can gloss over a lot of it, but I'm trying to give as much information as I can so you can you can make the best decision based off the items you have and what team you're gonna run because everyone's team's gonna be different, right? Not everyone everyone runs the same characters and lineups or you may not just not have the proper gear to optimize her properly, right? Um, so hopefully you guys understand that. Thank you guys for watching. I will catch you on my next video, which will be either the orb video. So win attack versus uh, attack or affect hit rate body versus attack body. But until then, thank you for watching. I'll catch you next time. Later.